longtime whiskey enthusiasts have witnessed the whiskey boom pick up steam over the past two to three decades. The tried and true offerings from years past are still very popular. At the same time, a flood of new bottles from startup distillers hit the market every year. In such a landscape, it's not surprising that many high quality whiskeys are underappreciated. To help some of them out, we have scoured the internet for whiskeys that deserve more attention, according to the most informed whiskey pundits like The Whiskey Reviewer and The Whiskey Jug. This compilation of just 10 underrated whiskeys is just the tip of the iceberg, because no matter what category or style you prefer, we guarantee there are many more bottles out there just waiting to be discovered. Here's our first whiskey, Glengoy 18 year old single malt scotch whiskey. The people at the Glengoy distillery in the small town of Dungoy, high in the Scottish Highlands, take their whiskey very seriously. In fact, they have been making single malt whiskey since 1833. At the turn of the 20th century, they had already become widely known for their high quality whiskey aged in sherry casks. Each year, a few casts are selected for long maturation, giving single malt lovers an excellent selection of whiskeys to choose from. One of the best bottlings in recent years is Glengoy 18 year old, which was introduced in 2012 to replace Glengoy 17 year old. Glengoy 18 year old is a single malt that's matured for 18 years in a blend of refill sherry casts and first fill sherry casts. The long maturation process gives Glengoy 18 year old a rich golden hue and an inviting sheen, made even more impressive by the additional finishing and first fill sherry butts. This delicious and complex whiskey is unlikely to be found on the shelves of your local liquor store. That said, you can buy a bottle online or at specialty stores if you are lucky enough to live near one that has access to this rare and fine single malt scotch whiskey. Here's whiskey number two, Compass Box Great King Street Artist Blend. Named Blended Whiskey of 2012 by Whiskey Advocate Magazine, Great King Street or simply Artist Blend Whiskey has largely maintained its flavor profile in the decades since. It's richly flavored, but not so much that any of its flavors really stand out from the others. You'll definitely taste apple and vanilla flavors, but the wood and peat flavors, both from the barrel aging process, are just as strong. The finish is oaky, with a sweetness that shifts focus on the accompanying vanilla. The Compass Box Great King Street Artist Blend was created by John Glacier, former marketing director for Johnny Walker, and is designed to dispel the belief that blends do not deserve a place in a whiskey connoisseur's cabinet. It remains one of the most popular offerings in the company's range of blended whiskeys and blended malts. The Singleton of Glendullen 12 year old. The Singleton of Glendullen 12 year old is distilled from malted Scottish barley and aged for 12 years in a combination of American and European oak casks. This single malt whiskey was initially offered in airport duty free stores. It was meant to offer a taste of a specific location a bit of a vacation before you board your flight. The whiskey has a creamy texture, as if you were pouring some ice cream into your scotch. It tastes of the highlands where it was born, with notes of fresh apple and caramelized pear that adds juiciness to the palate making it an easy drinking single malt scotch. With so many unique flavors that you'll need a few tastings to discover them all, this particular scotch is an easy introduction to a single malt scotch. And when you pass the bottle around after a few glasses, don't be surprised if everyone says, I cannot believe how cheap this is. Here's whiskey number four, Legendary Duke Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Legendary Duke Kentucky Straight Bourbon is a tribute to the iconic 20th century movie star, Marion Robert Morrison, or as you probably know him, John Wayne, the Duke. John Wayne did not have the opportunity to perfect his craft as a whiskey distiller, 
but he did leave his whiskey memoirs and a private collection to his son Ethan, who discovered them a couple of decades after his passing. Over the years, Ethan and his business partners have put a great deal of dedication and passion into realizing John Wayne's lifelong dream of making premium whiskey. Handcrafted to match a bottle of Wayne's favorite bourbon from the early 1960s in his private collection, various small batches were carefully blended to produce the flavors and aromas preferred by the Duke. The small batch of whiskey is then aged for at least five years in heavily charred American oak barrels. The result is a whiskey that is a medium amber color in the bottle and exudes a strong aroma of oak, berries, and nutmeg when opened. Number five on our list is the Pendleton Directors Reserve Whiskey. Since the Prohibition, Canadian whiskey has been the best-selling whiskey in America. Only recently, in 2010, did bourbon overtake it to take the top spot. Although many Americans are familiar with Canadian bottling such as Crown Royal or Canadian Club, Canadian whiskey is surprisingly still not well regarded in the United States. Nevertheless, some whiskeys have stood the test of time. One of them is Pendleton Directors Reserve Whiskey. Pendleton, Oregon is home to one of the most famous and respected rodeos in the world. First held in 1910, the Pendleton Roundup has been held in Northeast Oregon every September for more than 110 years. With a flavor as rich as the tradition that inspired it, Pendleton Directors Reserve Whiskey is an exceptional Canadian whiskey that deserves much more attention. Aged for 20 years and fed with pure, glacier-fed spring water from Mount Hood in Oregon, the unadorned, warm notes of oak, cinnamon, and rye are on full display. With a little water or an ice cube, orange zest, vanilla, and caramel unfold, followed by a ripe and smooth finish. Visually, this whiskey bottle is also striking, as the bottle is wrapped in a commemorative leather sleeve created by saddler Randy Sevier, whose family has been making saddles for almost 70 years. While we're on the subject of whiskey, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more great whiskey content. You can also visit us at compasslongview.com and on Instagram at compass underscore longview, where we discuss everything from jewelry, cigars, sports cars, and even James Bond. Number six, wild turkey rare breed. Wild Turkey's Rare Breed is a barrel-proof straight bourbon that blends 6, 8, and 12-year-old Kentucky whiskeys and then bottled at 108 and 115 proof. From the start, caramel and toffee intertwine with the zest of orange peel and citrus before the oak takes over, giving it a mature elegance and depth. The palate is coated in butter and the mouthfeel is silky and smooth. A complex blend of rye spice and the sweetness of caramel and burnt sugar takes the forefront before more citrus appears and swaths of tobacco and leather. Their rare breed is one of the most affordable and underrated whiskies, a balanced and bold bourbon that boasts big classic flavors and subtle nuances that put it above most other whiskies in its class. Number seven is a brand you've seen on here before, Evan Williams B.I.B. or Bottled and Bond. Evan Williams set up his distillery on the banks of the Ohio River in 1783 and is historically recognized as Kentucky's first distiller of bourbon. This special Bottled and Bond bourbon is a genuine sour mash that honors his pioneering heritage. Bottled and Bond status is earned only by meeting strict government standards originally passed in 1897 to ensure quality and consistency. In accordance with these standards, this bourbon is 100 proof, aged at least four years, and produced at a single distillery within a single distillation season. Caramel and vanilla dominate from the start before earthy rye reverberates along smoky barrel char. The finish is unobtrusive, with a pronounced dryness and a long but not overwhelming heat. Number 8 on our list is Tomatin 12. Fans of single malts aged in sherry casks generally stick to what they know. The names on the bottles, like the Macallan 12, are familiar comforts. But if you want to break free from your single malt comfort zone and try something new, 
you should try this Tomatin 12 year old single malt whiskey. It's aged in a combination of traditional Scotch whiskey, ex bourbon, and ex Spanish sherry casks. The resulting sweet flavor profile might surprise those used to the drier taste of Scotch from the Islay region. You can expect aromas of wild heather, pine, and cedar that soon become sweeter, revealing notes of creme caramel with apples, pears, and mango before a full-bodied and buttery finish. Number 9 is Old Grandad Bottled and Bond. Old Grandad Bottle and Bond is one of the oldest, most historic, and collectible labels in the bourbon whiskey space. The Bottle and Bond Act of 1897, the first consumer protection law in the U.S., mandates that whiskeys designated as Bottled and Bond must be produced at the same distillery by the same distiller in the same distilling season, whether fall or spring. It must then be aged for at least four years in a warehouse under federal government supervision and then cut and bottled at exactly 100 proof. While not guaranteeing the quality of the whiskey, you can be assured of its authenticity and purity. Fortunately, Old Grandad Bottle and Bond checks both of these boxes. Old Grandad is currently owned by Beam Suntory. Yes, that Beam Suntory and marketed as part of the Olds collection. Enjoyed neat or over ice, it shows spicy cinnamon notes balanced with caramel, light oak, peanuts, and light honey sweetness. The finish has a mild burn, accompanied by a melon fruit sweetness and a hint of minty corn. Given the rising popularity of high rye bourbons, it is surprising that Old Grandad is not a more desirable bottle the mash bill is exceptionally unique, consisting of 63% corn, 27% rye, and 10% malted barley, resulting in an exciting full-bodied whiskey. And finally on our list of top 10 most underrated whiskeys of 2022 is the West Cork Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Some single malts are barrel aged for decades, others are aged for only a few years, West Cork Single Malt Irish Whiskey is aged for 10 years in first fill bourbon barrels. It's also non-chill filtered at 40% ABV, which is not too common these days. Aging the whiskey in oak barrels adds flavor, color, and aroma. As the fluid molds to the wood over time, it takes on the flavors of aged barley and oak with notes of vanilla and caramel. Then the spirit is infused with cereal grains, a hint of brown sugar and dried apples. When you settle down to enjoy a bottle of the West Cork Single Malt, the aroma has a malty, fruity, honeyed essence, while on the palate gives way to cereal notes alongside toffee, apple, and chocolate, and a slight hint of spice, graham, and melon. Essentially, what you get with the West Cork Single Malt is a simple, crisp, and refreshing whiskey that is perfect for regular drinking, especially during the summer months. We hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to like and subscribe to see more content as well as visiting us on compasslongview.com. I'm Rob with Compass Longview. Thanks for watching.